Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you guys along with us on a day in the life of a homeschooling day. It is Friday, so that means it is fun Friday, so stay tuned. Yeah, you're taking me high. It is so good to be with you guys again. If you are new here, my name is Christy and I am a third year homeschooling mom to five kids. And today, like I said, is Fun Friday. So we have some fun little activities in store. It is a typical spring day here. I don't know if you can see outside my window or not, but it's pretty overcast, rainy, cold here in Indiana so if you're a Midwest mama like I am you know the drill <laughs> the weather has been fluctuating up and down lately we're going to make the most of it um, I have a nature study that we are going to be doing today we've been doing the treehouse schoolhouse nature study and so we have a fun little craft to do from there we also have spelling tests to do today and we are going to do some painting and we are going to go make a quick run to pick up some ingredients to make chicken noodle soup for my mother-in-law. Um, she's down with the you-know-what. So we are going to make her some dinner and some freshly baked bread and hope to lift her spirits a little bit. So that is on the agenda today. I'm just going to take you guys along for the ride. So let's get this day started. Does anybody else have a toddler who has perpetual bruises all over his head? <laughs> No. No. Hey. Yeah, is that Jack Jack? You say hi. <laughs> All right, so I have a jug of water because I'm trying to drink more water these days. So I've got this. I already have like some straightening up to do before we even start our day, so that's what I'm gonna do. Are we studying for our, our spelling time. test? You ready, Dad? Yeah. Okay. We got this boy. <laughs> Traffic jam. Will you have? You have a guitar? Here. There you go. Traffic jam. Yeah, he doesn't know how to ride a tricycle yet, so he just walks around. Just like this. It is about 9 30 and I am making myself some breakfast um, if you are new to my channel or just new to homeschooling in general we do four days with our curriculum and our books and things like that those are like our language arts and math days and then, <laughs> and then Fridays are our fun Fridays now this fun day can kind of move around in our week just depending on what kind of week we have um, but this Lately, it's been working out to do on Fridays. We always start our fun Fridays with our spelling test, which is the least fun part of fun Fridays. So we're going to start with our spelling test. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to the kids while I eat my breakfast. And then we'll get on with the rest of our day. <laughs> tired. He was tired. You can go ahead and do like a line. Receiving. He will be receiving high honors in school. Assistant. She was an assistant to the President of the United States. Fix these mistakes Wherever you're going I'm going to I've got a big helper here giving me this spelling test on Whatever the mountain will climb to the next honey all right, so we're finished with our spelling tests and we have a knowledge crates to unbox. So I think that we're going to go ahead and do that next. 
and see what kind of goodies we have inside. Yeah. If you guys have never heard of Knowledge Crates, it is a subscription box that can be tailored for either a preschooler or elementary aged kid. And oh, like them. last time we did the toddler like pre-K box and it was wonderful. My whole, all of my kids enjoyed it, um, not just Zoe. So this time I, um, for the spring box, requested an elementary age box. So we're gonna see what goodies we have inside. Okay, so we have a whole pack of books here, which is awesome. And then here is the actual crate. So first we're gonna look through. If I could do this with one hand. Got the BFG by Roald Dahl. We got Aesop's Fables. <gasps> All about snakes Whoa, and Rosa Parks. That is so cool. Oh, this is awesome. All right, hold on. Oh my gosh, how cute. It is butterfly. That is adorable. All right, so when you open this up, here's the activity guide for the spring box. Hold on, guys. Hey, Stone Soup, we love this. We love this story. Ooh, we got Model Magic. Hold on, guys. Let me look at the ceramic flower. Look at all the activities that come in here. We got Play-Doh accessories. We've got some paints. Play-Doh. Okay. Got little experiments here. Oh, we got a ceramic flower. What I'm is, sure we'd be pla painting Mama, that. Mama, Journal. Mama, 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 oh, turtle life cycle. You can make a basket. Basket weaving. Mama, really? Mama, 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 I want to play Play-Doh. You want to play Play-Doh? Well, Play we know what Play-Doh. Clay. It's a mixture of clay and Play-Doh. Oh, that's so cool. We got life cycles. Jack is using me as a ladder. <laughs> This? this is so neat, you guys. Some spring yoga. A spring scavenger hunt. Hold on, we're gonna do it. Oh, we've got a map of the United States. We've got state quarter search. What is this? I want this. I don't know, I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right, so let's look at the activity guide and see what all this stuff means. So here's the spring activity guide. And it tells a little bit about who they are. Hold on. And it also shows the goals. So we've got insect observations. We've got a bug jar and a bug scooper. A disappearing eggshell. Oh, that is exciting. Mom, is this real I don't think so. I think those might be fake, but it looks real. Oh, they've got a little birdhouse project. Yeah. Spring shapes. All right, so everybody's having fun. Elijah is making a snake. Are you making a snake too, yeah, Maddie? I'm trying to open it. <laughs> Zoe is putting together our little frog habitat here. What do you have? So this is like the water, and then we got some like mud. Make like little leaves for your little lily pads for your frogs out in the water. So do I. So what do you do the pink? It's like so. Yeah. What are you doing, Bean? If you want, we could just share and be over here. What do you have? <gasps> what are you making? Making, I'm making a frog. Oh, really? I make a frog for a while. Oh, in the water? Yes. I like it. Yeah. You can see we are busy with our knowledge crate activities here. I'm gonna go ahead and read some of our read aloud. We've been reading through 
We've been reading through A Long Walk to Water since we were studying um, Africa and my father's world. So I'm gonna read some of this while they finish this up. And we still have so many activities to do from Knowledge Crate. So I'll be able to spread this out throughout the week. Um, I cannot tell you how many amazing activities they have. And these books are so great. I will leave a link below if you want to try the Spring Knowledge Crate and use code OneBlessedMess for 15% off your order. It is well worth it, friends. I cannot believe how much they jam pack in this box. So if you want to try it, I'll leave that link down below. Thank you so much, Knowledge Crates, for sending us the Spring Crate. We are loving it. Well, the bug catcher has already come in handy. Yeah, you. The kids I, I, I caught that. just captured this spider upstairs. Oh my it's called a wolf spider. Gosh, was, I can't get it to focus. It's Hold on it. my bed. You were sleeping with that. Oh gosh. That um, is, she's a big one. Put that in, put it in there and I'll. Okay, you think you could do it real yeah. fast? First, I want to identify what kind of spider this is. Okay, okay, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Wait, Vaughn, kind of, kind of like put it low in there. So well, I'm way trying way. to, but I can't open this like all the way. Oh. Are you, are you doing it like? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Okay, wait until he's, he's fast. Wait until he's calm, really calm. Right, then you see could also go. Go, go. Got him. He's like, oh, I'm suffocating. Hey, at least we he can play. Alright, look it. Well, can I have my room? Now that we have the spider contained, literally, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a grocery order in. Jack's down for a nap. And Zoe's still playing with her Play-Doh. Are you having fun? Mm -hmm. You are? What are you making now? I'm making a, a snake. A snake? Fox. Fox. Ooh. It's gonna be scary. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys our nature study, do a little quick flip through of the tree house, um, schoolhouse nature study show you like what all goes into it and what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so I have the teacher guide here and then I also have the student books here. I have one for each of my uh, kiddos that I'm homeschooling. And in the teacher guide, it shows you all the weeks. So I picked and choose which weeks we are going to be doing because we only have so many weeks left of school. Whether or not we're going to get to all those things because we're gonna be starting Easter, our Easter unit from Treehouse Schoolhouse um, next week. So, I might, you know, eliminate some of those weeks or just kind of pick and choose. Maybe do two of those units in one week. So this shows you like what goes into each week. For each day, there's like a little folk song you listen to, a hand rhyme, a poem, a picture study. There's also like a book basket, like you could get read alouds to do. Um, there's a book list that goes along with it and then do like a little nature connection, which is um, either a craft or uh, some sort of experiment. There's a lot of fun activities that you can do with this nature study. So we're on the spring equinox, so today we are going to do the flower sun catcher, even though it's Friday and this was for Monday. Um, I've been trying to wait for the weather to break so that we could go out and gather flowers, and plus we don't really have flowers growing yet. We live near a nature conservatory, and I am wondering if some of their flowers are growing yet, um, so we might be able to kind of run out of the van and, and grab like a bundle of flowers, because we're gonna have to uh, press them down before we can actually put them in our little sun catchers. But I'll show you the student books as well. So this is the student book, which I just printed and bound. Um, whoop. and you could see like it started out with the rainbow unit and this was a song and then we, 
oh no, this is the song. This was like the little hand poem thing. And then there's like a little picture. And there's the poem. So Maddie um, did some copy work there. And then we had a little make your own rainbow experiment and rainbow Play-Doh. And then walking rainbow experiment. So here's the spring equinox uh, one. This is the one that we've been working on this week. And so we did, you know, our little copy work of the poem with the first dandelion by Walt Whitman. And this is what we we're going to be making today. So this is just a really beautiful Charlotte Mason inspired uh, nature study. You're looking for something to incorporate spring into the end of your year. I think this is just fantastic. We're really enjoying this so far. It's a fun way to end out our day. So this is what we're going to be making today. And I have all the things to make it except for the flowers. So we will see if we can find some. Worst comes to worst, if I have to, I will just grab flowers from the store, but I'm hoping we can find something outside to put in there, so. Hi, baby. Hi. Whoa, <laughs> you're so big. We got our water beads sitting here, soaking up the water, and then we're going to be observing our little egg in the vinegar for a few days, but. Yeah, that was really, really fun. So right now, I just put on a movie for Zoe, and Jack's still down for a nap, which is awesome. And the kids are playing video games for a little bit. Um, I get asked a lot about screen time, how we do screen time, how we incorporate it into our homeschool. For the most part, during the week, screens are off. We don't have like the TV on unless it is for educational purposes. Um, or unless Zoe really needs to be distracted one day or something, I'll put on like an educational movie for her. But for the most part, no screens. Absolutely no video games throughout the week. Learn that the hard way. Video games are a fun thing we do on the weekends, um, starting on Friday after school. And so no video games during the week. So that's just what our family does. I know every family is completely different. I know things like screen time can be kind of a hot button issue. We are not like super crazy against screens, but we aren't, I, I also see the effects of screens in my kids when we have too much of it. So that's just what we do. So right now, Zoe is watching a movie. The kiddos are upstairs playing, um, I think they're playing Animal Crossing or something. And Zelda. And I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a cup of coffee. I'm waiting for my grocery order to be fulfilled. And then we can kind of get the second half of our day started. We're gonna make our little sun catchers. We're gonna go see if we can find some flowers. I don't think we have any on our property yet, but I'm gonna see if we have some down the street. Um, but yeah, this is like what our fun Friday is. It is so laid back and I love it. I love our fun Fridays. There's really- there's so much to do. Yeah, there's not much to do on fun Fridays which is kind of the point. Um, I like having a little guideline of what I want to touch on on our fun Friday, like art or music or whatever it might be. Um, but honestly, the whole point of fun Friday is just to slow down, to just do fun things that are also beneficial and educational. We just, we just love our fun Fridays. It has been a great way to begin our weekend and it's something we can always look forward to throughout the week. And it really breaks up the school week because this is homeschooling. We don't have to dread the week. We can have fun. All right, so we are going to head out. We have a couple groceries to pick up to make chicken noodle soup and I'm also going to try to scope out some flowers so I'll let you know if we find any other side of the road. I know that you are having a hard time right now. Thank <laughs> you.
I went to the store to pick up flowers. Everything around here is dead still. Um, grass is just now starting to get green. So needless to say, there were no flowers along the side of the road or anything. So we're gonna do this little pot of flowers. This is called a Parsons spider. Yeah, if you guys know about it, um, and if you guys don't know about it, it's really interesting. You know this because he's got the white markings on his back. He's non-poisonous, thank goodness. Generally, not harmful to people. You might be allergic to his bites though. Interesting, they, do, they cannot make webs. Yeah, they don't make webs like normal spiders do, do they? Yeah. Pretty neat, huh? We, we looked up some info on them. I have stuff to make some chicken noodle soup in a little bit. I'm actually going to get a hold of my in-laws to make sure that they're home um, and Press down a receba, so I'm gonna press down flowers, and then we're gonna do our sun catchers in a little bit, so. All right, so I have the yeast activating right now for my bread, and I'm gonna go ahead and pre-chop all the veggies that I'm going to need for the chicken noodle soup. I've got some celery, I've got an onion, I've got carrots, and I've got some garlic here. I'm trying to make this a really hearty, healthy, chicken noodle soup with lots of veggies and just healing healing elements in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-chop everything even though I'm not gonna quite make it yet. I will be getting to it soon. We decided to name our spider Peter Parker because he looks like the spider that bit Spider-Man. He's still hanging out with us. done so you could see Zoe wanted to make some soup for grandma too <laughs> okay so while the bread is rising for the next hour or so I'm gonna go ahead and get our stuff ready to do our sun catchers so that is what we are going to be working on Jack's down for his second nap of the day he is actually taking a second nap it doesn't usually work out like that okay so all you need for the flower sun catchers is some clear contact paper flowers um, you could use a flower press if you'd like but we don't have one of those so we just did a um, some heavy books lined with paper towels and then embroidery hoops and suction cups to be able to put them hang them up so what we're gonna do is the kids are gonna make one of their own and then we're also gonna make one for their grandma as well um, and this is what they should look like afterward. These are really, really cute embroidery hoops. They have like a wooden outside to them. And it looks like that's kind of like what they used here too. So perfect. And I got all this stuff off Amazon. So super, super easy, not too complicated craft. <laughs> Whenever I see a super com a complicated craft, like with a ton of things that go along with it, I'm like, that's a no for me, dog. <laughs> like I'm not. <laughs> I can't, I get overwhelmed just even looking at it. So this is something easy and I think they're gonna turn out really cute.
These turned out so good, you guys. I know what these are gonna look like this. Yeah, they look beautiful. Those are gonna look great in your guys' windows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. Hi, All right, I have soup ready to go, some bread, and cards, and the sun catcher, and I'm gonna run this over next door real quick. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, this look into our fun Friday. Be sure if you are new here to hit that subscribe button, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys really soon. Take care. You look so beautiful, and I'm so lucky to be yours.